Hello, welcome. My name is Obeda. Welcome. I want to share uh, with you um, how to how to build your house in 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 our country, Ghana. How to build your house in, in GH. A lot of people would want to build their own house. Almost everybody thinks about that actually. I think almost all humans will think about maybe <laughs> how to become rich how to get a job uh, how to own your own house you know they will say that i was the first person to build a house or buy a house you know it's key uh, to many people you know i was the first person to go to college in my family things like that because human beings want to be successful and every one of us would want to be successful so most people think that owning a house means that you're successful so <laughs> so almost everybody would want to build a house and uh, at a point in time when you're when you're in your old age and you didn't do anything like that they will say that uh, i'm over and to me i see that in grammar or man and you know so um i briefly would want to share some of the thoughts um we've been in construction works for a while uh, decided to pull out a bit but we we we, we channel to you know you know property development and um, building a house takes a lot of money whether you're building to stay there or you're building to sell it takes a lot of money so it's not something that you should do without planning it you know, so most people would get a job and the next thing they are thinking about is to uh, buy a plot and start to build. I think that our narratives, the way, we, the, the way we've been, our orientation on wet creation and the key things that impede wet creation for majority of people, we still not have, we have not challenged them. You know, so most people uh, building a house will, will, will make them poor in our country. That's why you see a lot of uncompleted structures all over. Because we, it's not something that we think uh, we should think through before we do, because it's a big deal for people to own a house. It's huge, huge. So once I get a job, the next minute I'm buying a, I'm buying a plot and I'm building. And some others will go and get a mortgage, uh, what they call mortgage in Ghana. You know, uh, my thinking is that uh, Especially if you're if you're an entrepreneur, uh, you have to have a plan before you put a lot of money in a house because once the money goes into that house, it never comes back. You know, so I would I would get the money, whether it's salary or income or profit from the business, I will put it in something that can add something to the money, and then give my time give myself some bit of time before I plan uh, to build that house. You know, so that you don't sh you don't stress so much. Uh, I don't think you should use five years and ten years to build a house. I think that you should plan well. And building a house is not the end of life. So some people settle when once they build a house, <laughs> and now they have reached everywhere. <laughs> so some of the factors that you would want to look at will be uh, where to get the land. You have to be very uh, meticulous about that because almost every land is uh, you have somebody to. Who claim that it is for them so once you're getting to buy a land uh, look where look where especially if it's in the is in the city particularly Accra you know so most people have lost their money or most people are fighting over something that they didn't have to put themselves in in the first place but they were thoughtful you know they believe somebody they parted with their money and that was it so uh, the first option i'm assuming that you have planned well you have your money and you would want to build that house so look at the, the other land where don't just uh, don't just believe anybody especially the agent make sure you do your due diligence to make sure that uh, you're not losing that money to somebody you know a lot of us could lose money and uh, you would want to you don't want somebody to take you to police station because you have given them money Eh? You have money, you have given somebody money to buy a land from them, and next time you are in police, you know, fighting for your life. So make sure you make critical decision on the land. The next one is once you're set, once you're set, make sure you get a very well informed um, industry man. 
somebody who understands construction, whether it's a foreman or as an engineer. Make sure somebody who is in the industry. And um, I don't think you should go and get a contractor if you don't have much money. I don't think so. Unless you have really planned and you have a lot of money. Most people don't have money to get the services of a contractor. A contractor would have to put his markup on it. He has to move his machines. You know, he has to pay all kind of things that uh, an individual may not have to pay. You know, so if you're not in that bracket where you have a lot of money, then get an engineer uh, to help you. Somebody, talk to a friend who knows a friend and uh, you'll be able to get somebody to get you some bit of technical. Don't believe that you can do it though. A lot of people do this and uh, they are putting 100,000, 200,000, 300,000 in a building and they think that they understand how to build. You understand how you build, no problem. But when you finish, you see that uh, if you depend so much on these masons, there will be problems. You know, because water will be moving through the building, electricity will be moving through the building. You are holding loads somewhere. You know, you don't want the building will be reacting with the atmosphere. You don't want to go through a lot of things that people go through. People have a lot of problems with the houses that they supervise that they had no experience supervising. You know, so um, get somebody's information, get some data from somebody, even if you want to be on the on the. Most people don't trust anybody. That's why they are screwed on their building. <laughs> <laughs> I don't trust anybody, so they are the engineer and they have no idea what building is about. <laughs> tell you it's my money. You can't tell me what to use my money for, no problem. Uh, you, they will tell you what to use your money for when, when you get there. So get somebody informed. Get somebody. So all of us will have a friend or family or somebody uh, who has done it and who understands it, who understands the drawing who understands the industry, when something is going wrong, they can see it. It's very key because you're putting a lot of money there. So make sure that you get somebody who is informed. The next one will be uh, maybe they'll help you to get the drawings. Get some drawing. Don't sketch. You don't. This is very technical area that you will need somebody to help you, you know, to do it and do it well. Or you build a building and when you finish, there's no air. You know, a lot of things are shaking. Uh, the light comes today, tomorrow it doesn't come. The water is in the in the in the concrete everywhere, you know, because you it's not an industry, you know it, you know. So get somebody, get the drawings, ask a lot of questions on the drawing because some of the architects or the draft managers download. So the uh, livability, uh, living in a building becomes a problem <laughs> because they downloaded from the winter weather. <laughs> so this is gotta. You know, if you are building in Ghana, this is Ghana. So make somebody, especially if you get somebody who is already building houses, uh, they will come with a lot of information that will help you. Because they are making a lot of decisions to get a building which becomes the finished product. And uh, the quality of those decisions will, will decide the quality of the building that you get. You know, the quality of the people that you use in building that house is okay. So get somebody, even if you don't have much. I know most of us don't have that much money. But you can negotiate with that person. I'll pay you monthly. Or I'll pay you maybe every two months or every three months. You know, have a way to discuss with that person how you're going to compensate or pay them. You know, because they bring in a lot and they can save you a lot of money. Because once the money goes into the building, if that thing is wrong, it will not only cost you to rebuild though, you have to pull it down and that is also cost. You know, so it's double cost. You don't save that much on construction. You compromise on quality, <laughs> you will do it again. <laughs> you compromise on quality, you will do it again. So um, you also have to have some sense of respect if you put the team together and you go to the site, respect them. Show them respect. They like to be greeted. They like to be trusted even though they can do things that you don't have to trust them you still have to and then uh, you go there and you put your hand in your pocket and you roll your key somewhere they they will look at you they're so much interested in people seeing their value and that's how you work with these guys you know so if they work with you they have a lot of information because this is the industry they know they have a lot of data a lot of information and uh, you want to rely on them they, are, they have their foreman, they have the engineer there, but um, when you go there, they would want to see your humanity, you know, so sometimes buy them some bread, <laughs> sometimes they will screw you, don't escalate it too much, 
it's part of the game <laughs> sometimes they will take cement it is part of the game don't make it so like uh, you nobody will cheat you they will, they will they know if they are not honest they know how to cheat you so don't worry about that what you're worrying about is the quality of the head the engineer the foreman that you put there his technical skill and um, his his character is very key because if he's okay a lot of the things will be fine you don't have to worry and i would rather get somebody like that and 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 relieve myself of um that much stress because unless you're in the industry you don't know the psyche of the boys you don't know what they're doing you don't know the building uh, you you over stress and so i see a lot of boys building especially those who work in the or the communication people the bank and the insurance people you know they, they they think that they're very smart no very few of you will be able to get it right that's why they build you go there and the next two years they're still putting a lot of money to maintain the building because the quality of the engineering decisions that went in in the construction you know was weak so make sure that you trust the boys make sure that you trust the boys and then uh, keep records of the money from the land purchasing from the day you purchase the land to everything that you care on the land maybe if there is fight on the land if you pay money right everything some people will tell you that me i don't like writing because when i look at the figures my heart <laughs> you will look at the figures your heart but you still have to keep data you know so write everything that you're spending there the labor the materials everything in between write them write them in a book or write keep them on your computer it's needful at least you will have a fair idea but before you do that, you should also know. You do some basic uh, costing on the project. You do some basic costing on the project. Sit the person down. Tell me how much you think this one is going to cost. Break the building into stages, you know, from the ground to this to this. Let them explain it to you. And uh, let them tell you how much materials. Do some basic costing. It is very key. It will guide you. Sometimes it will help you to even hold on with the project until you have enough money you know so don't believe this thing there is a house so you just have to screw everything to go and build a house because that house is not going to save you money building a house does not save you money building a house does not save anybody money building a house is a social status building a house is something that people think that now you are rich it will give you respect but if you want financial independence and you want to create a lot of wealth your house that you have built that you are living in if anybody will tell you, they didn't save them any money. You actually spend more living in your own house because now the electricity is double or three times. The water comes in a lot. Now, uh, every little thing you have to take care of it. There will be breakages. There will be problems every now and then. The door will break down the window. Uh, you have to wait the place. You know, so it's comfort. But in terms of you saying that I'm tired of paying rent, so I will save more money by building, I don't think that is the way. I don't think that is the way. That's why uh, you need to have uh, a lot of assets to start to build a house. Don't let them, a, lot, a lot of us attach so much to house, owning a house than ha having financial independence. Most people would want to own a house than to be free financially. You know, so that's why they build a house, but they can't quit the job, even though they don't like the job. And that's why they are very scared when they want to fire them from that job because they have the house. But they don't have any other source of revenue. They have not invested in anything except that house. And that house that you're living in, that nobody is paying rent, no no income is coming in. So once they threaten you that they are taking that uh, they are taking you off the job, now there's problem. You know, so some people will have their house, but there's no income coming in because they didn't plan their finances. So I am for more of building things that will make me free financially than just building a house. Uh, that is me. Uh, I'm not much. I mean, if you build a house, fine, but I'm not much interested in you owning a house and you can't leave that job and you're scared when they fire you. Now that Corona is around and most people, most jobs are, you know, cutting employment and things like that. A lot of people have their houses they have built, but they're scared because they don't know where the next meal, the next salary is going to come from. But they have the house. So owning a house is nothing as in in you having freedom and building your financial future you know so i think a house should be built out of abundance of your wealth of the of the investment that you have made but most people will use salary directly and put it in the house 
they take salary and put it in the house they take salary and put it and when you finish that house your mother will be very happy your friends will be very happy but uh, your financially you will you will be you will not be that happy so plan where and some people also want to build 10 bedroom house eight bedroom house and they have no children or they have one or two or three children i don't think uh, you need that unless you have a lot of money build the one that you can contain because there's maintenance there are problems that cost the bigger the house the more costly it is even in maintaining it if you have to paint a 10 bedroom house it takes a lot of money and sometimes you live in just one bedroom your children are on, the rest of the bedrooms will be there you will not even rent them sometimes the whole year you will not even enter that room yet it costs you money which you would have maybe you would have you should have built a different plan and maybe sold one or rented you know because your financial future is so key it's far better than you buying a nice car or buying a nice house because then if there is pressure the pressure will go down when let's say you are paid two thousand a month in ghana but you have um extra business extra investments that also bring you two thousand let's say you live on two thousand a month with your family now when you lose that job you know that your other investments are bringing that kind of money you will not panic but if you put everything in a house and there's no extra income coming in except the salary and they tell you that you have lost that house that job there will be problem you know there'll be challenges so my name is Obeda. I'm talking about how to build your house some of the few things that I think you should learn in building that house you know and some of the psyche that you have to develop you have to develop and you have to know that it's the best way of building your house is to build out of your profit you know you build out of your profit not out of your income your profit you know when you have extra you build with that it's so key to focus on the financial freedom and the liberty and the investment that you're creating for your future than just owning a house i mean i'm not impressed with the house that you have if you don't have other income coming in from everywhere because once you lose that job that house will mean nothing to you and that's why most people become uh, they, they corrupt you know to build because they don't expand they don't invest it so mail the money save the money expand the money grow the money then out of the growth you start to do something uh, for yourself because it takes a, it takes a lot of money to build a house that is true and uh, as, a, as a business person, I, I, mean, I don't build for individuals because uh, the problems are too many, you know. So, uh, and I don't think that if you don't have much money, you should be, you get a contract at all. And if you don't have a lot of money, um, and most of us don't even qualify for the mortgage anyway, so they won't give us mortgage. <laughs> but you can have a plan that you have, uh, you can develop a plan um, to build that house if you, if you, if you have a good structure. And don't be so much extravagant in terms of your design. If you are on budget, if you're on, if you're not, if you don't have that much money, then don't go and build that big house. That when you finish building, you look at the house and you're angry because you, you it's a proof that you were not diligent in your approach in building that house. You know. So let me go through the steps and then I will draw to close. So I'm saying that if you want to build a house. Um, which is a good thing, but don't think that building a house will, will save you money from the rent. Uh, it's not true. You still spend the money, you know. So you build a house for convenience, for for status, for comfort. The house that you're living in doesn't make anybody rich unless you sell it, you know. So until that house is sell, you sold, or you, until you rent that house, don't tell me that that house is bringing you money. And when they, when those big big English people come to tell you that there is equity in your house and the house is increasing in value. Those are just blue coal. When you're hot and you want to sell that house, you'll be shocked how much they will give you. So don't worry about those book. The value the, the, the valuers will come and give you a kind of big English. When you're hot, you want to sell that house, you will see the value. That's why you see the real value of the house, not what they tell you. You know, so uh, you should not be so much passionate and emotional. You know, some people will show you their house and it's, uh, it's okay, it's fun, it's fun, but uh, in terms of you building wealth, how many rich people do you see them counting their house to you? They don't even know. 
have so much wealth. And why do we call them rich? It's because they have businesses, investments. That's why we say that they are rich. They don't know their house they live in. <laughs> Unfortunately, where we live, there's footballers and, there's, and the musicians. That's what they think is worth. Musicians think that they show you their house, it means they are rich. That's deceptive. Movie actors will show you their house and the cars they drive. And the children will follow that. This one is rich. That's not richness. That's, that's, that's somebody spending money. The rich, very rich people, they have businesses that are bringing in money every day, every minute. The portfolios are growing. They don't show their house. They, the house is nothing to them. The cars they drive, they don't post. If you see anybody posting with a car in the house, it's not rich. It's poor. It's just a poor person who has money. Rich people create different sources of revenue. That's why they are rich. So they are structured in thinking. And they build structures and systems around money. That's why they are rich. You know, so if you, if you like for instance, if you're an entrepreneur and you want to build proper businesses, don't put a house in front of you and car. No. The, the first thing to spot any cook is when they are boasting about cars and houses. <laughs> They don't show you anything about their business. They don't know. You don't know how many people they employ, how much business, how many revenue, how much revenue their businesses are bringing in. They just show you their houses and their cars. They are fake. They are fake. And that's why a lot of these young boys think that buying a white Corolla means that they have money. Wrong understanding of money. So uh, the house that you build beautifully. You know, so you live abroad. You want to build a house here. You never live in. Why do you build ten bedroom house? No, maybe you want to take care of your family, no problem. Help them. But don't tell us that that makes that you are rich. You're not rich. You just like anybody else, you're surviving. You know, so look at the land. Land is critical if you're building in Accra. Critical. You can lose the money that fast if you are not diligent. You know, so look at the land. Where? Look at the land. Where? Make sure it's not somewhere that when it rains, you can survive there. You know, so if you want to buy the land, maybe buy it when it's rainy. That way you will know the area proper. The next one is that I said that one of your best decisions will be uh, planning way ahead of you starting to build that house. You know, so you build with your profit, not with the salary. You plan well and get a proper costing to all the design and let them give you some bit, no, some average cost. If nothing at all, I at least not the finishing is the skeleton. You at least get a fair idea how much that building is going to cost you. And uh, the next one is getting very well informed technical person who will lead the project for you. If you are not in building, if you are not into building, don't think that you understand it. It's that technical. You know, they don't have to charge you extra, but the information, the, the information they give you will be so much helpful. To save you from a lot of pain, people have bought properties from more, uh, these uh, estate developers, eh? and after two years, they are spending so much. I, I, I remember I visited a friend of ours um, sometime, and I went to the estate, and he's virtually crashing everything to rebuild it because the construction was that bad. You know, the construction was that bad. So um, it's a technical field. Uh, you really are. You know, there was a time that you, uh, we had this guy who we had to go in to correct his building for him, and uh, you know I think that he thought he was wise, so he was using this voice, and uh, they did a very bad work for him. He double spent. He ended up spending so much on that building because uh, it takes a lot to uh, it, it takes a lot of information, of technical knowledge to build a house that is of quality and that you will use with less stress and pain where you have a lot of things well uh, thought out and, and implemented so uh, the next one is make sure you write all the things that you do write everything that you do and uh, the cost and make sure you treat the voice there well if you go to site and so uh, and the next one is what uh, you know so thank you very much uh, for watching thank you very much my name is Omina. thank you